You might call it a case of adding insult to injury. Today, state officials admitting they were responsible for a fire that destroyed 36 homes in East Point over the weekend. News 13's Megan Myers is live tonight in Franklin County. Megan, what happened? That's right, Jerry. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission ordered a prescribed burn that got out of hand, leaving more than 30 families without a home. Now, we did catch up with some of those folks who lost everything at the Church of God here in East Point, where the main relief center is located. Trying to get out and flames just dropping on us. A nightmare for many, now becoming a reality. Just ain't never imagined it. Bonnie Langley and her family have lost a lot from the Franklin County fire that destroyed over 30 homes on Sunday. It burnt my truck. It burnt my next door neighbor down to the ground. She says her home was damaged but not destroyed. But her guest house where her son lived is a total loss. He just he just lost everything. She says her whole family is alive and for that she is thankful. I'm glad that everybody's alive, but you can't replace a lot of stuff, but there's some stuff you just can't replace. Florida Agriculture Commissioner Adam Putnam says the prescribed burn was handled by Wildland Fire Services for the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. It burned 800 acres and destroyed 36 homes. I lost everything. I have nothing. The Red Cross is operating a shelter at the Church of God, serving three full meals and distributing health aids. Many survivors say they need all the help they can get. And our lives barely. Now that Red Cross shelter at the Church of God will be open until Friday, but the pastor tells me he plans on lending a helping hand even after that date. Amy and Jerry, back to you in the studio. All right, Megan Myers live over in East Point in Franklin County. And